Hey, what's up guys? GQ back with Tech Creation where I use technology for recreation. Quick video for you guys. So I slept on Samsung Dex because I always thought it was just a gimmick. So shame on me because it actually turned out to be more practical and definitely deserved its own video. And quick shout out to Kanoopsie because after watching his video, it inspired me to try Samsung Dex for the very first time. In a nutshell, this is just a great way to expand your Galaxy Note 10 experience, which by the way, I've already covered this. So if you haven't watched this review, make sure you go and watch that one. Now Dex is available for Mac as well but only for the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. And for me, it's just a little bit too buggy. It had too many connection issues. And even when I did get it to connect, it was just too laggy for my taste. And I think you'll be better off using a standalone monitor. Now, thankfully I had a USB-C monitor lying around and this was actually sent to me a while back. This is a Ymaxit 15.6 inch 1080p IPS touchscreen display, which is a common resolution for a monitor this size. And DeX actually supports resolutions up to 2K. But I find that for this particular monitor, it's more than colorful and sharp enough. And the included fabric case is nice because it doubles as a sleeve and a kickstand that allows for different viewing angles, which is perfect for this type of setup. All right, so jumping straight into the accessories to power the monitor, I'm using a RAF Power Turbo Plus Series 20,000 milliamp hour power bank, which is a whole lot of power and it can drive this particular monitor for a good five hours or so before it actually drains out, which isn't bad at all. I then went ahead and secured it to the back of the case using a 3M pad, so it just stays there at all times. And then I just recharge it just as I would any other tablet or laptop. Now keep in mind this solution definitely adds more weight to the package So if you want you could always just use velcro strips for easy removal later on that choice is completely up to you And I also went ahead and picked up these two flat mini USB-C cables along with a couple of USB-C right angle adapters Just to get a much more cleaner look when the monitor is plugged in and I'm looking at it from the front And I actually admire the simplicity of this whole thing because at one point you actually needed a whole dock to use Samsung Dex But nowadays with Samsung phones, that's not the case So once I have the monitor plugged in from my power Power bank, it's ready to go, and then it's just a matter of taking that second USB C cable and then plugging it directly into my Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and Samsung Dex is ready. A lot simpler than I thought it was. Now, as far as placement is concerned, I prefer to just keep the Note 10 laying in front of the monitor for two reasons. Number one, I see nothing but screen, so I get a much cleaner visual, it just looks better on the eyes. And number two, since this is just an expansion of your phone, every now and then you're gonna need to verify your fingerprint, and I found it to just be much more of a natural gesture, so just reach over and authentic just like you would on some laptops today. And the great thing about using the Note 10 is while the S Pen doesn't work on the screen, because of the way the sensors work, regardless of the phone's position, I'm still able to use the air actions to skip Spotify tracks or pause playback of whatever I'm watching, which is cool and in theory sounds nice, but you're probably gonna be better off using your finger since this is a touchscreen, but I just thought that was something to mention nonetheless. But for the best experience, you're gonna wanna pair a mouse and keyboard, and for that, I'm using Logitech's latest combo, which is the MX Master 3 and their MX keys keyboard which I'll be doing a separate video on this so stay tuned for that and simply put they work great together the keyboard is backlit and the mouse is very precise on any surface and both can pair up to three devices so switching over from my Mac to Samsung Dex takes just about two seconds tops and what I like about MX keys is the dedicated lock button on the keyboard so I can instantly lock my setup with the push of a button and then unlock with my fingerprint like I showed earlier and the same keys on the keyboard that will launch mission control on your Mac launches the multitasking on Samsung Samsung Dex, and the same is true for the apps key, it'll go ahead and launch the app drawer from your phone. So switching between operating systems is not so foreign, which is a good thing. As you start messing around with it, you'll notice it's just a bigger screen for your phone with a slightly optimized and lightweight UI that closely resembles Chrome OS, and the experience is just very familiar to your standard PC. You can right click on your desktop to access more settings and change your wallpapers, you can place your apps anywhere on the screen, and you can even go ahead and add some of your favorite apps to the taskbar and this is where you'll also find access to your phone's notifications, your system toggles like Wi-Fi networks, your volume settings, and even a finder tool to search your device, as well as a handy screenshot button that makes it very easy to share screenshots through texting, which by the way, I really like the idea of being able to instantly reply to text messages while I'm in the middle of typing a document or searching the web or watching a video. It's just the ease of doing that reminds me of iMessage. Not that I'm comparing the two, but you guys get the point of what I'm trying to say. I get to do tablet-like things without leaving my phone. And for the past week or so, I've been using this as opposed to using my iPad. And that's probably because I'm still just so intrigued by it. And I guess that's because with the touchscreen and all, once you're docked, it's very easy to forget that you're plugged into your phone the entire time. And for me, that says a lot. Now, it's important to mention it's not exactly a portable solution, but it's perfect for a stationary setup for your basic things like research, catching up on Netflix, listening to Spotify, all the other lightweight stuff that we all do from our phones. And for the best experience, you wanna make sure that you toggle on 
on force apps in the Dex Lab settings. This is basically just going to make sure that apps are resized properly to work with Dex that aren't officially supported by Dex. And yes, it's not exactly perfect like apps like Instagram and some banking apps still aren't fully optimized and then some apps just aren't supported at all and wouldn't even launch. But I did find for the most part, the majority of apps that I need work just fine. Your Amazon, Google Docs, eBay, you name it. And if you want, you can always use the apps full screen. But personally, I find that you get a much better experience with floating windows. Not only is it better for multitasking, but the layout is just more native and easier to use. And then you can always manually resize it later on if you want. And the only time you might want to take it full screen is if you're watching movies or TV shows. Now you will notice that the audio still plays from the phone instead of the monitor. So for entertainment purposes, I'm going to recommend you pair your favorite Bluetooth speaker or your favorite pair of headphones. That's going to be a personal choice. But for me at the moment, I'm using the Sony WH 1000 XM threes. I love these headphones, the color, the sound, the comfort, and the built-in Alexa integration is by far my favorite feature. You know, Samsung Dex is for people who want the tablet experience without having to walk away from their phone. I mean, it's not promising to be a powerhouse. I wouldn't recommend you do any intense gaming or video editing. I mean, obviously what you can do is limited because you are using a phone at the end of the day for something in its very early stages. I am beyond optimistic and I just can't wait to see how this whole thing plays out to where your phone is your tablet, your tablet is your computer and merging all of those experiences into one. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts and basically just to share my enthusiasm on what smartphones are capable of doing. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts on Samsung Dex. Do you guys think it will mature properly? Drop those comments down below. And as always, everything featured in the video will be linked down below in the description. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.